Hello, I'm just doing a, another video just to kind of keep myself um, not on track but keep myself in the right mindset to um, maintain my um, not motivation but maintain my um, yeah, I suppose mindset is probably the best way to, to put it, try and maintain my flow of it to make sure I'm, I'm kind of keep to plan. Um, so recently I've been trying out um, Slim and Wild SP just so I can, um, I don't know, I, I'd, never, I'd never tried it before, um, always just an extra easy, um, so I thought I give it a go because there's not I wouldn't I'm not gonna lose anything, not gonna kind of um yeah, you know, not gonna lose anything except weight. <laughs> um and thought, you know, what you know, what we've got to lose, let's give it a go, see what I feel. And I, it was it was very very fine, there was nothing wrong with it whatsoever. I was completely wasn't a problem. Like it was a very effective um form of eating. Um, my problems, as as always have been, are um, bolster eating, um, kind of eating in preparation for um, a kind of the next task, or eating in preparation of trying to keep calm, or all those types of things. So um, through no fault of the SP plan, um, I struggled just a couple of times last week. Um, but it was actually a lot, a lot less than previously because obviously I've been plunged into a situation where I am um, uh, kind of like back to being um, full time mum, as it were, and not exactly sole carer. But um, my partner works from you know seven in the morning till. He's gone at half six, comes back at half five, sort of thing. So you, you know, you, and and there's no school, so you you know, <laughs> right back to when they're babies, aren't you? Really at that at that stage. But in reality, um, it's a lot easier because they're twelve and eight, so it's not quite as bad. You can do some things with them and that sort of thing. So it's been pretty alright. But it does mean that I'm susceptible to the bolster eating again. Um, but SP really helped, um, really helped me, I felt very full, I felt quite satiated um, and so it kind of took away those times when um, that, that, that were easier to manage in terms of life, I just kind of did something else instead of eating um, and that was okay, it was alright, it was, it was just one time, I can't remember exactly how many days ago but struggled um, and that was due to um, kind of just stress levels and not coping well and so then I did binge at that point um, but what it's been helping me to do bizarrely is it really helped me kind of get back into the freedom of Slimming World so what I've been doing now um, just today I've started up um did a um using my fridge area i've done if um slimming world so I've, i'm now i'm doing from now on gonna do slimming world just extra easy um but trying to remember those um trying to trying to make sure i'm incorporating plenty of the pea foods and plenty of the speed foods um in in my extra easy not necessarily in order to lose weight um although obviously that would be useful but more because it really helped with um not cravings as such but it it, it kind of helped with dampening down some of those um kind of urgency to eat things feelings those kind of um those feelings that well up which are uh, impossible to ignore and they, they just overwhelm um, so that really helped it so I'm trying to make sure I'm kind of sticking to um, 
plenty of protein foods because that really did help. Um, so yeah, this um, this is kind of like a free printable I printed out. I think it's from something like it's a it's sortstuffout.co.uk. It's a free printable, um, like a little planner because I was I had got um, kind of the Seven World Extra Easy and the SP uh, Extra Easy SP. Um, ones that I'd printed out but it just wasn't really enough room on them and I know that you're not supposed to have a lot of room on them because you're not really supposed to eat a lot of food and therefore they pack it in but you just can't, I sort of need to I need to write quite a lot of things down so I decided that what I would find instead is just doing like a sheet a day so I can every day start fresh um, and I have the whole lot on so this is quite good actually it's got um, at the top uh, it's like the date, my weight loss goal, current weight loss, and weight remaining. And it says at the top, to help keep you on track, try and make a little time at the very start of your day to remind yourself of your weight loss goals and how you, far you've come on your journey. It's easy to get distracted if you don't reflect on them each day. And it says, it's easier to decide on your healthy extras at the start of the day. It helps you to stay on track. Remember, it's very easy to overestimate the amount of these. Measuring is important. And I've done like... um. I've sort of split my healthy extra A, milk and cheese. I didn't do cheese today, so I've only had like a bit of milk. Um, and then my healthy extra B was two times 400 grams bread, like the little loaf. And since that I didn't, I didn't choose that ahead of time. That's what I've done today. Um, so it's quite useful because then I can I've got breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. Obviously, I don't necessarily eat exactly at. Um, Breakfast time, do I not really eat? You know, it depends. <laughs> but I've sort of put them in the orders anyway. So I've got um, uh, nectarine um, I had. I had So I had, I've been really getting into toast uh, with Marmite on it, on both pieces, and then nectarine um, on one and banana on the other, or like a variety of different types of fruits. So when I was doing the SP, I just had both speed food, but I put banana on it this time around because I'm doing the extra easy. Um, and I'd also brought back from the shop um, like a coffee filter thingy. Like one of those little machines where you put the uh, kind of, like you put your coffee in there and then it just goes through and it's really good. So that's been a really, really good idea. Excuse the washing up. Um, but I'd also got some from little, um, like this type of thing where some filled coffee, Guatemala and roast and ground and lots of different types of coffee. Because I find um, over the time, back back when I was just looking after the kids up by myself in terms of kind of, it was, you know, prime care as it were, um, coffee really helped me to make a different choice in terms of rather than chocolate having coffee really helped me um not feel like I wasn't having anything because as soon as I felt like I wasn't having anything then I just could not keep to it could not keep the door so I've been doing putting a coffee on um first thing in the morning so I help my partner just I make his lunch and all that kind of stuff for making breakfast um before he goes to work so at the same time I put coffee on and try and do a little load of washing up because I'm terrible washing up I hate it but if I do a little bit first thing in the morning while I'm doing the other bits then by the time I've sat down and had some coffee I don't bother during the day and then I just leave it all ready for the next morning but that's a lie really because then I do a little <laughs> you run out of bits don't you but I've been trying this house I've been trying to be very minimalistic so I really don't have a lot of plates and such so it means that it forced you forces me to if I want to use a plate after wash it up which is really helpful um, but yeah so I feel like I'm I feel like I'm in it now and I I think what I remembered um, which I think I'd kind of lost is the sensation that slim world is um, is the kind of antithesis to, if that's quite the right word, um, to a diet. So remembering that uh, Slimming World, Slimming World works best when it is not considered a diet and that's not how you view it. 
um, Sloan World works best for me when it is considered as a um, kind of like a some choice guidelines in terms of um, just having a couple of different boundaries and then making sure you're maximizing your choices within those things so there's nothing nothing banned but you make you know the choice power and it really really does help I think um it's really helped me I also found online someone had done a um like a consultant had done a like a new member talk that they'd uploaded um so I re I'll kind of watch that and sat with my book again and kind of like just um work my way kind of just took a little bit of time so I think I might re-watch that again a couple of times um maybe each day just to kind of re iterate in my head because I think there's so much to slow and weld that um lots of it and I, you know not to be mean to consultants or anything but it's hard for them to really get across the full extent of the plan um it's it's not it's not hot it's not easy for them because sometimes some consultants don't quite fully understand it so therefore they um I don't really mean it like this but like accidentally mislead their members so therefore they'll say one thing but as in reality it's like you know then when you go to the Sloan World website it's actually slightly different it's not actually that or in some other ones you know you, you it doesn't necessarily mean that they meant to do that but they miss might have misunderstood it in the first place as well so there's lots of different little things that it's um there's so many different aspects to the plan that it's like um sometimes it's quite hard to keep in your head all of it but it's like a it's kind of a general so I think when I click with it it's like a general feeling rather than all the different bits put together so I think I feel Sloan World makes me feel confident and capable it makes me feel able to choose what I want to eat freely um, and it like empowers my choice rather than making me feel I'm um, not successful with my choices. So um, yes, it asks me to limit down um, items that would be sinned, but then in a re in in kind of reality, in a healthy food eating situation, I'm going to want to reduce some of those things, and I'm not going to you know I'm going to want to have a healthy breakfast and a healthy lunch and a healthy dinner and healthy snacks because I want to live a healthy lifestyle because I want to be uh, like full of energy and um, able to fit in my clothes so it's not it's not a it's not a huge ask to be asked to stick to the healthy eating guidelines and but because they are so flexible in terms of um, it's all it's not asking me to eat my breakfast by nine o'clock it's not asking me to um, not to have second helpings it's not asking you know there's so many different flexibilities within slow and world so it does have um so I, th I think that was my i think that was my issue that i've had coming up obviously the other issue i've had is my complete like, lack of self-confidence and um, with what, what happened and everything like that and that that was fair enough that i would go through that um so again i Keep banging on about it but I'm really grateful that I haven't put loads of weight on um 11 stone 4 I weighed in this morning um and oh that's the other thing I'm going to so I'm 11 stone 4 and I would like to get to 10 stone so that means I've got 18 pounds to lose and I found this um like piece of so what the idea was so I wanted something to colour in for each pound because I think it's quite nice to take a minute out and to um, to colour something in and to take a little time that isn't food related um, to celebrate each pound loss. So I've done this kind of a variety of different ways before, but I thought it'd be nice to colour in items, and I thought like little line uh, line art um, cartoons or something like that. Or, but I thought it'd be nicer to make something I could actually spend a little time or to print something out that would take a little time to colour in rather than just like, oh, okay, that's coloured and move on. So I thought maybe, I found these 
um, there's 18 of them, so 18 pounds, and they're like little um, sort of borders, like little picture borders, um, all different colours and shapes, and um, obviously there's 18 of them, um, so they're like picture frames sort of thing. And I thought what would be nice is each pound I lose, I could draw a tiny picture inside each frame. Um, because I've got a little bit of time. And you could, I could do like a little scene each time. A snow scene or like mountains or something like that. I'm not the best artist, but it doesn't matter because it was only for me and it's only for a bit of fun. And then it's like a little activity to do. Um, I thought maybe what would be nice is if I printed out some others because my children are very very good kind children but they do like to poke my things because they're children so they like <laughs> you start something and they like to poke like there's a little bit here that my daughter has drawn around the bottom of it where it's like she's um because it's like little pastel squares and she's very tempted and she wanted to draw on that and I said can we not can we not draw on mummy's things but she's like <laughs> She's earlier. She's like, I have to tell you something. I've drawn on your piece of paper. So she's just drawn around that on um, with some outline pen, which is fair. It, I must admit, it does look better now because it was like quite pastel and plain, so it probably did need outlining. But I thought maybe what I might do is print out some um, more picture frames and have them here as well, and so that when I'm sitting down doing mine then I've got a piece of paper to give to them so that they can draw their own in there because I can imagine them getting, which is fair enough, it's nice for them to be tempted, but I can imagine if I sit down and do, start doing something, they'll be like, oh, can I fill a square in? <laughs> I'll be like, no, you cannot. So rather than being like, get off me, don't touch me, <laughs> to be like a bit more diplomatic and give them a piece of paper. So that might have to be a plan. They might not care, they might not be interested, but sometimes... Um, I sort of feel like if I'm prepared um, for that eventuality, then that makes the things a bit smoother. Um, so the other thing I've got to do is just to print, make sure I've got plenty of those sheets printed out, the kind of daily ones. I've got one already printed. I've kind of like stuck um, like a, one of these like little zippy bags on the side of the fridge with some magnets so I can store those extra sheets in because one of my other things that might go wrong for me is that a day starts really suddenly and I don't get a chance to print out my um, planner and then the whole kind of watch out for self-sabotage where I don't I think oh well it's okay I'll just remember and then you just get out of the habit don't you of planning and I what I really want to be able to achieve because I haven't really been able to achieve kind of full days on plan on any of the types of diets and things of bits and pieces I've been trying to do I haven't really achieved a full day on plan for quite some time now um no I don't mean that I've achieved excuse me plenty of days on plan I haven't really achieved um like a full stretch of time you know like maybe like five days full or something like that or like a week or something like that I haven't achieved that much so what that so I'd like to achieve is I'd like to f achieve like a full stretch if I could because then I think that's what, what can kind of really spur you on um to you know keeping the food um because I know I could do it before back in the day I managed to do that quite often as living world um to do for really like what quite long stretches at a time like you know three weeks at a time to be able to keep on plan so I think it would be a really good confidence boost for me to be able to know that I could stick to it quite easily. Um, so that's what I'd like to do. And I would also like to... Um, I, one of the other things I've got to make, make sure I focus on is making sure that I am um, enjoying the food I'm eating. So making sure, because that used to work for me really, really well as well. Making sure that if I'm eating something, I'm enjoying it. And if I'm not enjoying it, I just make a different choice. Because there's no point in eating something that I'm not enjoying. It's just, just zero point. And there's plenty of things I enjoy to eat. There's loads of stuff on Slow and World. Um, I've got no issue with fruit and veg. Absolutely no problem with it. Um, I like all sorts of weird concoctions of things. So there's no reason why I can't find something I enjoy. Um, 
and I need to make sure that that happens at every single meal and that I enjoy myself and I do not um, kind of do not restrict because that's where I think my issues are going to lie. Okay, I'm going to, as you can probably tell it's quite late so I'm a bit tired and I'm going to just going to just take a minute out because that's the other thing I've been trying to do is that obviously nowadays I am with the kids all day long. I need to make sure that I have a little bit of time in the evening kind of in my own head because otherwise the day is just rolling one after the other and I get really groggy and I can't really think straight and that's the other thing that um, uh, trips me up is when I get kind of groggy and I can't really and I feel like I want anyone to pick me up sort of thing and then I'm like okay I'll just you know catches me out and I can't be bothered so I'm going to keep myself um, high level of self care high level of um, kind of keeping an eye on my trigger foods, trigger situations and keeping an eye on my um, possible self sabotage Again, I'm going to um, leave it here now and I'm going to just um, try and catch up um, in another couple of days just to let you all know how I'm getting on. Lots of love to everybody. Bye.